in my opinion, derechos are one of the most underrated meteorological phenomena out of them all. And that is why I am really excited to go into derechos. So here we go, deep dive, derechos. Now you might be wondering what a derecho is. Now, derechos are widespread, long-lived windstorms associated with a band of rapidly moving showers or thunderstorms. They can also be called land hurricanes. They are characterized by straight line wind gusts of 58 miles per hour or more. The damage they produce is similar to that of a tornado, but it's actually straight line wind damage. The term actually means straight or right in Spanish, which is where the term comes from. A derecho is a bow echo that travels 250 miles and has winds of 58 miles per hour. Now you might be wondering what the anatomy of derechos is. Derechos are typically made of bow echoes, which are thunderstorms that form a curved or bowed shape. Now, what I'm about to read to you is directly from National Weather Service Jetstream. It is a great resource. It takes meteorological phenomena, puts them into more simpler terms. The link is in the description. Now, step one, bow echoes usually arise from a cluster of storms, but also may begin from just one single supercell thunderstorm. As the rain-cooled downdraft reaches Earth's surface, it spreads horizontally. This downdraft marks the dissipation stage of that particular thunderstorm cell. The cooler, more dense air hugs the surface because it's heavier, and it spreads, forcing lighter, warm, moist air up into the atmosphere, that is the updraft. The boundary between the rain-cooled air and the warm, moist air is called the gust front. Air forced up by the gust front begins the next new thunderstorm cell formation. As this new cell matures, the rain it produces reinforces the pool of rain-cooled air, allowing the gust front to maintain its strength. As the cold pool increases in size, it induces an inflow of air, which is the orange arrow on the right side of your screen, on the trailing side of the thunderstorm complex. This causes the updraft to tilt toward the trailing edge. Tilting the updraft allows the cumulonimbus cloud to expand further, increasing the aerial coverage of rain, which in turn further adds to the cold pool of air under the thunderstorm and thereby strengthens the gust front, causing it to bow out. The bowing of the gust front forces more warm, moist air up, creating new thunderstorm cells, and the process repeats itself. And finally, the additional rain reinforces the cold pool and strengthens the rear inflow of air. With the thunderstorm complex reaching a semi-steady state condition, at this point there is a pronounced bow in the storm or storms as seen by Doppler radar and an area of moderate to occasionally heavy rain near the center of the cold pool well behind the gust front. As long as there are new thunderstorm cells forming on the gust front as it advances, replacing the older dissipating cells, the cold pool and rear inflow air will continue. Also, all along the leading edge of the bow echo, thunderstorms may be producing downbursts and microbursts, which is basically the wind coming out of those thunderstorms pushing out, and that's where you really get that straight line wind damage from these storms. There are three major and one minor type of derecho. There's the progressive, serial, hybrid, and low dew point derechos. Now, a progressive derecho, which is on the right corner of your screen, is a derecho with one bow echo and a short line of thunderstorms. A serial derecho, which is on the left bottom corner of your screen, is a derecho with multiple bow echoes embedded within a squall line. Hybrids have characteristics of both progressive and serial derechos, and low dew point occur in late fall and early spring and are a form of serial derecho. Now, progressive derechos move over the high pressure. That's basically how they get that one bow echo, is that they just move right over, and they, they're moving in that east to west direction, whereas serial derechos are more vertical, their positioning is more vertical, allowing for multiple bow echoes to form. And this all happens, this generic scenario here in the center, the bottom center part of your screen is that there's a low and a trough. 
in the west, there's a high in the southeast, and you have the cereal moving up through the plains and a progressive moving across the top of the high pressure along with the airflow. Now you might be wondering, what can I expect from a derecho? Derechos carry 58 mile an hour winds or more and move at a pace of 60 to 70 miles an hour. They cause more deaths than both EF0 and EF1 tornadoes combined. Most fatalities occur by boats overturning. There's almost no time to find shelter based on the speed that the storm moves. There is no derecho warning, only severe thunderstorm warnings. To be the safest, check the Storm Prediction Center thunderstorm outlook before you start your day. Be aware of the atmosphere, and as the NWS says, be weather-wise, not otherwise. Now you might be wondering what the climatology of derechos is, the where and the when that they occur. Now, we're going to be referencing these two images on the right side of your screen. Let's start with the top, where it says derecho climatology. You have these multicolor areas here, shaded, and the orange area is one derecho every four years, the light green is one derecho every two years, the darker green is one derecho every year, and this purple area right here is four derechos every three years. Now, in the bottom chart, we can see that there are two seasons of derechos. There's the warm season and the cool season. The warm season occurs from May through August, and 70% of derechos form during this time. The cool season is September through April. 30% of derechos form this, in this time, and cereal derechos primarily form during this season. This is my work cited page, which is basically all the websites that I use for this slideshow. If you want to go further in depth into derechos, this exact page is copied in the description below. So if you want more information, click the links in the description below.